The Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training is reporting a successful return to the classroom for the nation's student population. The school term resumed in the physical setting for all students on Monday 8th, November 2021 as the island draws nearer to resolution of the fourth wave of COVID-19. The Ministry of Education has also announced that it will be embarking on academic recovery and accelerated learning programs to compensate for lost instruction time. Details in this report by Homer DeMarc. Students across the island returned to the physical classroom setting on Monday. Instruction had to be conducted via virtual platforms for students with smart devices and internet connectivity following the onset of the fourth wave of COVID-19 in St. Lucia. Officials from the Ministry of Education took the opportunity on Monday visiting various schools with a view of ensuring that students had a seamless transition back to the classroom. Honorable Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, explained that several measures have been put in place to ensure the health and safety of all students. Well, we would know that last year we had a term where all the students were back and most schools have refined their protocols to ensure the safety of all students. So you have students wearing their mask at school, um, we have the social distancing at, at, at the schools, um, we also have um, well, social distances, masks, we have um, different um, at, the, at the gate you would be welcomed by someone who would take your temperature, ensure that your hands are sanitized, and there are different pots around the school compound where students can wash their hands and sanitize to ensure that their hands are clean at all times. Acting Education Officer Cyrus Sipal indicated that the Ministry of Education is also embarking on an academic recovery program. The program aims to ensure that no child is left behind as a result of disruptions in instruction. What is important now is the, um, <clears throat> the academic performance and along with that now the social upbringing and the emotional psychological aspect of it with reference to school. So, so returning face to face it has more to it than just simply the, the, um, the knowledge aspect of it. And then now with this now we are also considering you have the learning loss that may have taken place because of the distributed learning. Because as you know, yes, the teachers were doing um, their best to try to get everybody with the online platform, but there were some children we could not reach. So because of that, there would have been some learning loss. So therefore, we are putting a program in place for the academic recovery to take place. And along with that, now we are going to put another program in place called the Accelerated Learning. So we are going to have the academic recovery and the Accelerated Learning working together so the children can be where they are supposed to be. Acting Chief Education Officer highlighting the importance of students' return to the classroom explained that students' holistic well-being was considered during the decision-making process. In the school setting, the psychological component with it most children, when they are at home, we don't know what they are going through. We don't know the conditions they are at home, how much learning is really taking place. They want to learn, but in the environment with which they operate, you also have to consider the psychosocial aspect of it. You also have to consider the nutritional aspect of it, because remember, we have a lot of the children, especially the primary school, who depend on the feeding program of the Ministry of Education to get a good meal. So all of these components, and as I said now, we had a number of children who were um, getting the packages from the schools. However, they, we could not give them any feedback because the, we had no interaction between the teacher and the student. So although they would receive a package, but they were not getting the feedback. So that one month, and that's why the minister had said we are not going to have end of term exams, but we are going to have interaction with the children from day one of this month until the last day. So then now, um, the misconceptions that they may have got during the packages that they got or probably where there was internet um, internet connectivity issues and then they may have lost on certain things then that one month would actually bridge that gap and prepare them now for next term we are hoping that things will be okay that we will continue the face to face principals the island over have welcomed students return to the classroom Principal of St. Mary's College, Don Howell, assured that the school, in collaboration with all stakeholders, have put in place the necessary measures to ensure the safety of all students. Schools across the island, including special education schools and tertiary institutions, resumed in-class instruction as of Monday, 8th November 2021. 
using the face-to-face -face modality via whole school or alternate day approach. From the Government Information Service, Humadi Mark reporting.